anything different than last year? You know, each year's different. We got different working pieces this year, so uh, you know we're just trying to do our best out here, uh, get better each day. And you know, I think the young guys, and I think everyone's doing a pretty good job of that. So. Anything since you were added to so many preseason watch lists, does that factor into? How does that factor into your confidence at upcoming season? Was that since you were added to so many watch lists, preseason watch lists? How does that factor into your confidence? Confidence coming into the season? Oh, I mean, I don't, I don't read that stuff. It's all just about doing my job and. Uh, help my team, so no, that, that's all for the, the press and the people that read that stuff. So, Luke, it looks like you've got some chemistry with some of these younger receivers. What can you tell us about guys like Jameer and Tamer? Yeah, I mean, they, they're, they're doing a good job. I think they're picking up the offense faster than expected, and that's why they're getting in there and getting some reps because they got some uh, versatility to them. And, uh, you know, I'm really proud of those guys right now. They got to keep it going, and you know, all the other guys are doing a great job putting those guys under their wings. Uh, I think Tavares and uh, those are the better way to help them out. Were you surprised by how quickly they kind of acclimated to the offense? Uh, yeah, no, because I think they did a great job of diving in the project and you know, really taking the time to see what they do. So I think it's just on their part that they've been committed and they want to play. Second straight day, hooking up with uh, T. Martin D for a touchdown. Uh -huh. Talk about your guys' uh, relationship and yeah, well, I mean, he's he's done a great job this offseason. I think he's had his best offseason. His attitude's off. I mean, just great right now. He's really been the leader of, um, you know, the, I think, the group of receivers. And, um, you know, I, he's, he's a great player and a versatile player. And when he's on, he's on. So uh, it's just a nice weapon to have out there along with, you know, the other seven guys we got. You talk about him teaching the other players. Do you think that started, like, in spring with you guys taking those trips, fishing, hanging out with each other, <laughs> just like all that? I think uh, I think summers really were, um, you know, the maturity level stepped up on all those guys, um, and just guy. I mean, all of them are really just had their best off season. I, I can't praise them enough on that, and they um, showed it and they continued to do it in fall camp. So just really proud of those guys. Um, want them to keep it up, and uh, you know, we we got a good good group of guys. Did you kind of assess that last offensive series there during the team period? It seemed like you guys were out of sync maybe a little bit, or. Yeah, I, and you know, it's two days in a row that we've kind of squandered some stuff out there. I think it starts with us not playing the next play. Um, you know, got to bring the energy. You got to just put the ball in play. I think the series of, you know, you just got to get the ball in play out of them, whether it be a screen, whether it be a run, instead of just trying to go deep, 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 and, uh, you know, take some of the pressure off of um, you know, the old line and, and the receivers and myself. So, but I think we finished decent. Would have liked to hit that down on the goal line. That's on me. And, you know, a lot of, a lot of stuff to learn from today, but overall, a good day. Look, you put on some good weight this offseason. I mean, can you feel the difference when you're out here playing? Yeah, I feel, I feel the best I've felt in the last five years. So I just I feel healthy. Um, I think uh, we had a great support staff help me feel this good. And uh, I just felt good right now. Luke, uh, from your first year to this year, talk about the difference in size of the out, uh, with the outside receivers. Just, it seems ast astronomical. Yeah, I mean, we had some big guys when I first got here, and Vince and Dom and things like that. And I think that we just didn't have, uh, you know, I think now we just have it from top to bottom. I mean, really, all our outside guys are monsters. I mean, I think the shortest one's Tavares at like six, maybe six one and a half, six two maybe. So, I mean, they're just big targets. Um, you know, when you think that they're covered, they're really not. They can just give you the numbers and, and they make tremendous catches. But uh, it's nice to have some big bodies. It's good with Luke. All right, thanks.